As you can see, this hood is actually missing its hood filters. It's trying to figure out what size filters you need, how many filters you need that will fill in your open space can be a little confusing and a little frustrating. The good news is all we need from you is a few pieces of key information that we can help you determine how many filters you need and get you set up and ready to start cooking. Now we need to measure the area where the filter actually sits in the hood back behind these trim pieces. So to do that, you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to put it down in the bottom. Now keep in mind, some hoods actually have a bottom tray or channel that the filter actually sits down into. Captive Air brands do not. They actually just have this bottom trim piece that the hook on the bottom of the filter catches to hold it into place. So you want to basically just put your tape measure down about an inch below this bottom piece. That's going to give you a good idea of where that filter is going to sit. And then take your tape measure up about another inch past this top piece. This is going to measure about 19 and a half inches tall. So as you know, a 19 and a half inch tall filter is going to be listed as a 20 inch. Whatever your actual height measurement of the filter is, round up a half inch. So because this is on the back side 19 and a half tall, we're going to round that up. We need a 20 inch tall filter. Okay, now that we know what the height of the filter is, that's step one. The second thing we need to do is we need to figure out the overall width of the area of the hood that you need the filters to fill. Now a critical piece on that is as you can see there's a piece of trim on each side of a hood. Some hoods will allow the filter to go back behind that edge trim piece. Some, like this one, does not. The filter cannot go past this end trim piece. So the key issue is when you're measuring to only measure the area that the filters actually need to fill. If you put your tape measure past this area, it's going to mess your measurements up and the configuration won't work. So we need to measure from just this end to the other end. So we are measuring just the area that the filters need to fill. Now that we know the exact area of the hood that we need to measure from side to side, making sure to only measure the area of the hood that needs to be filled in by the filters and making sure not to go past these end trim pieces, we can see that this opening is 109 inches. So now that we know the height of the filters and the total filter width that we need to fill in this empty space, we can now use our sizing calculator to figure out what configuration of filters is going to work for you. Now that we have our measurements, we can use the hood filter sizing calculator to figure out what configuration of filters will work for us. So you'll just want to go to the home screen here and click on the hood filters category. And once you're on that page, on the right hand side, under the guide section, you'll click on hood filter sizing calculator. And up pops the calculator. So step one is you're going to pick what type of filters that you want. Stainless steel is by far the most popular uh, type, so we'll just select stainless steel. We know our horizontal opening is 109 inches, so just type that in. We know the vertical is 19 and a half, so we select 19 and a half. And then just simply hit calculate. This tells us that if we use three 20 by 20 filters and two 20 by 25s, that'll give us a total filter opening width of 108 inches and a little over that. So that's going to give us a leftover space of actually just a little bit under one inch. That's plenty. Keep in mind, you got to put these filters in and out. So if you have actually just zero space left over, you really want to double check your measurement because you do need to give yourself a little room to put these filters in and out. Uh, but for this instance, this works out great. Now you'll see if you have more than an inch and a half of leftover space, you may want to purchase a hood filter spacer, which you can do by clicking on this link right here. But for this example, this works out perfect. So what you might want to do is just write down for future reference 3 20 by 20, 2 20 by 25, and then you can actually just click on view these filters. 
and it will take you right to the page showing the two filters that you need. Now you will have to go ahead and enter your quantity 3 for your 20 by 20 and just hit add to cart. And then you'll want to add your 2 20 by 25. Add those to the cart. And that's it. You can go ahead up to the top right hand corner and click the cart and go ahead and proceed to check out as normal. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call us anytime, email or chat. We're always happy to help.